Hey Bulldog fans, welcome to this week's Bryant Football Coaches Show. I'm Tristan Hobbs, joined by the head coach of the Bryant Football team, Chris Merritt. The Bulldogs coming off a loss at number 25, nationally ranked Central Connecticut on Saturday. They're on the road this weekend. They head out to Moon Township, Pennsylvania to take on Robert Morris. Kickoff is at noon. The game will be streamed live on ESPN3. Uh, coach, looking back at last week's game against Central Connecticut, uh, top team in the Northeast Conference. Uh, Second half didn't go the way you guys envisioned it going. At halftime, it was 28-14. What did you see in the film afterwards, and kind of what did you see from the team on Saturday? Well, it, simply put, they're, they're just a better football team. Um, we uh, felt we had a solid game plan going into the game, both offensively and defensively. Um, we just uh, we didn't execute, and uh, that's uh, just as much. You know, players didn't execute the scheme, and we, we as coaches probably didn't coach it well enough. Uh, to, to make sure it was executed. So, uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, when you look at uh, a team like that, as talented as Central Connecticut is, uh, we simply can't uh, play like we did and expect to have success. And the hats off to them, just a better football team. We talked before we started the show today about uh, 23 offensive plays in the first half that really kind of got your team energized and right back in the football game. Uh, it started with a 15-play, uh, 95-yard drive. A lot of good things happened on that drive. How pleased were you with kind of what you saw in that series of plays? Well, I think that uh, was a bright spot for us offensively. Uh, any, anytime two drives can heat up uh, 12 minutes of clock, keep the defense on the sidelines, I think that that's what we want to do. Uh, but uh, we, we executed uh, the game plan. We executed the calls that were made. And, uh, we didn't have any drops. We didn't have penalties. We didn't have sacks. And those uh, what our keys are for us to be successful in offense. And, and uh, again, 23 straight plays it's a, it was a bright spot you know, for us uh, in that game um, in, in a day that was a full lot of bright spots. Uh, Bulldogs, very nicked up. I mean, maybe nicked is not the, uh, maybe too easy of a word to use here, but uh, on offense on Saturday, a lot of guys uh, playing some different roles. Uh, Harrison Easton, uh, who was the third string quarterback, uh, is now was in that running back, uh, scored a touchdown on the ground, also caught a couple passes. Uh, you had three or four different receivers in that were just getting some game play for the first, second time this year. How have your guys approached and handled the situation that you guys find yourself in right now? Now, we're not going to use the injuries as an excuse. It's football. It's uh, late into the season. Um, you know, every team's got issues to deal with. We just, uh, you know, the mentality we have is next man up. And uh, Harrison did a great job for us this week, stepping up and playing a role he's not familiar with and executed very well. Um, and uh, it, it, it doesn't change the way we prepare and what we're going to do moving forward. We're going to be us, and uh, we're going to do the best we can to get our guys ready. All we need is 11. Bulldogs are on the road this weekend to take on Robert Morris, a team that is 2-0 in the Northeast Conference. Uh, they've been on the road for a while, getting a chance to get back home for them. Uh, what have you seen originally, initially from Robert Morris on film? Well, they're, you know, they're, they are, again, not what their record indicates. Uh, they've played some very good competition, especially on the road. However, right now they are first in the conference at 2-0. They have a lot of confidence, and they should. Uh, defensively up front, they're stout and stout and strong up front. Uh, they're going to pose us some issues in the run game. Uh, I think offensively they do they do enough. You know, they, they're, they're pretty efficient. They've gotten better and better every week. They're putting points up on the board now. So we have our hands full. It's a long trip to get there. And we have to knock off the cobwebs when we get there and line up and play football. Talking about the trip out there, obviously this program has done it uh, a lot. This will be your first trip to Western Pennsylvania. Uh, what is your message to the team in terms of the travel, getting them, getting the cobwebs out, as you said? Uh, it's uh, it's no different than any of those teams that got to come out and face us. You know, we, we just have to uh, prepare ourselves for the for the trip. Uh, make sure on Friday when we have our practice and walk through that we're also getting our heart rate up and get a little running around. Try to stretch out a little bit and. Uh, yeah, I think the trip coming home is probably at times worse than the trip out there because it's 12 straight hours on a bus coming back instead of uh, breaking it up. But we'll be fine. You know, we just have to uh, take precautions, make sure that we're staying limber and loose and hydrate and eat and do all the things that we need to do. What is the focus for you and your staff going into this week? Uh, your team has really kind of evolved as the season's gone on. We've got eight games into the year. What's the focus going into this week? Well, we we talked about it with our guys yesterday. Um, we're breaking it down to four-game season for us right now. Our our key is to win, go one and zero each week. 
Uh, I think that uh, we compare with all four remaining opponents. I think that we compare athletically. I, I, I think it's a situation where it's more about how we play instead of how the other team plays. And uh, if we just take care of our business, we'll be in in all four football games. Coach, uh, last week the GSR came out, uh, the graduated success rate, uh, the Bryan football team, again, uh, tops in the Northeast Conference, uh, one of the top uh, FCS programs in the country in terms of graduation success rate. How important is that for you and for this program? I, I think it's it's tremendously important, uh, and the reason why I say that is that's the reason why I, I took the job. That's one of the reasons why I came to Bryan, because I knew already academically it was a, it was a strength. Um, you know, we just, uh, we're, we're getting things uh, how we want it to culture-wise as a football program, and I think that uh, eventually that'll be a, a strength for us as well. So when we go into the recruiting battles, you know, we can put uh, out there on the table for any recruit, hey, listen, not only do you have a great football program to play at, but uh, you've got a school that's going to be a launching pad for you. And that uh, that, that was a key reason why uh, I'm here in Smithfield. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited to do that. I want to promote the heck out of that. And that just makes us uh, a player, I think, when it comes to uh, the type of kids that we want to recruit here. You knew the kind of school Bryant was when you were coming here. Now you've been here for almost 12 months. What have you seen now in person from this school in terms of? It, it's as advertised. You know, it, it's great people. It's uh, what we call salt of the earth people. Great family, fat atmosphere. Uh, the people here are good quality people to work with. Uh, great administration, President Makeley and, and Bill Smith couldn't be more supportive. Um, you know, it's uh, it's exactly as advertised. and. Now it's my job to get the football program where they need it to be. Hey, Coach Chris Merritt, the Bulldogs on the road this weekend at Robert Morris. Kickoff is at noon. You can watch the game on ESPN3. You can also follow the Bulldogs on social media at Bryant U Football.